And there's, you know, there's another spot that you have to be careful with, with the people who say, well, it's sustainable, you use kill mix. Because there's just immediately this thing of, oh, they're terrible. It's just not true, you know. I mean, you could, well, I didn't have any fish today. <laughs> but, you know, I've taken people out and I said, is there something you notice here? And I'll have two boxes, 120 pounds. It's all hanging. I'm not destroying the lake with everything else. You know, there's incidentals here and there, but... So, there, gill nets do target what you want. You know, same thing, I fish in Alaska. Those nets are 99.999% .99 sockeye salmon, because that's what we were targeting. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, and that's what we've been arguing about with, because the Monterey Bay puts out that, um, you know, sustainable seafood watch card, and they, they list, unfortunately, they list lake herring and ocean herring together, but they put it on the, um, the second category, not the top category, because it's only because of the fact that it's fish with gill nets, and they claim those are, it's a destructive fishing gear, but it's not impacting the rehabilitation or any of the other fish in, in Lake Superior, so we're, we believe that it should be number one category.